In today's video, we check out a town with only 15,000 people that has some incredible features. It's Broome in Australia. The following video is longer than a minute, but it's worth your time because it will blow your mind just like it blew mine. And mine. And mine. Are, are you ready, ready for this? this? I hope you are. I am ready. This is a small town of 15,000 people in the middle of nowhere, Australia. And you know, small towns are boring, boring and boring. But this one is not. It's called Broome and it's located right here. Here, the ocean tides are the second biggest tides in the world, which wow. means ocean levels go up and down 10 meters. What looks like an island at high tide becomes a desert at low tide. I would say you've got to be very careful in a place like that then, with a tide that changes so drastically, uh, you need to be you need to know what time of day it is when that tide's coming in uh, for your own safety because yeah you could get stranded let's just say and what is covered during high tide is uncovered during low tide like real dinosaur footprints that are 130 million no years way. old hidden under the ocean at low tide uh, hang on so there are dinosaur footprints that are over 130,000 years old in Broome and you can see it when the tide is out. Wow! How cool is that? If you're into things like dinosaurs and, 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 and uh, creatures from the past, this would be an incredible sight to see. And how is it... Look at it. How is this so well preserved? That, is, that would be my question. How is this so well preserved? 130 million years old hidden under the ocean as low tide starts you will witness the most unique phenomenon waterfalls appear in the middle of the ocean as water leaves the coral reefs Other oh waterfalls... so you've got the coral reef so at low tide then do you have coral reef just sitting in the open uh and as the tide goes, it just it, the the ground ground of the the sea is lower than the coral reef, and therefore it just creates the waterfall. I would assume that's a pretty epic sight. Falls appear between mountains because water moves from one lake to another. This is very rare to witness and very fun to ride. <laughs> I need to know if anyone from Broome or anyone from around the world has done that. I think it would be too much for me. I'm not great in the sea as it is. And then fast, a fast boat going through that. Oh man, that would be tricky for me. Wait, I'm not done yet. When water goes up and down so much in this town, it makes it easy for oysters to grow. So many pearls grow in these oysters oh, that wow. pearl farms can grow a $300,000 pearl necklace from the ocean. The skies here are clear. Okay, we've got to stop at the pearls. I'm I'm going to assume that that's what makes Broom their money. I, I, would, I would assume that that is their financial source, pearls. It, it's like Cuba PD, that, that, that they have their special rocks. Um, you know, certain towns and cities have certain things that bring the money in. I would assume pearls is that. 300 days every year, which means you will witness the most romantic sunsets every day for 10 months. Wow. And at night, you will witness the clearest stars and galaxies because light pollution does not exist. You didn't hear that from me, you heard it from Space Gandalf himself. There is something magical about the universe. This town is three hours away by flight from any other major city because this is the Australian outback that honestly is kind of scary to so many people including us on our first night we were greeted by giant spiders can't believe this I'm yeah i know about them already how bad it is check and your shoes in our room <laughs> we saw sharks and more sharks in the ocean and we saw crocodiles than we'd ever want to be near all of this does not scare the people living here the aboriginals who have lived on this land for thousands of years and have become one with nature even their footprints are marked in rocks i think it's brilliant because 
you know, you get outsiders that see all these dangerous creatures and, and they can be petrified. However, I think if you are grow, grow up with these creatures and it is a part of your life and you know about these animals, then it doesn't phase you. It's as if they, they're not even there almost or you live alongside them harmoniously most of the time. But it's complete contrast to someone that is not from an area like this and it is a complete shock and probably petrifies people. Just hold on and think about this for a second. In a tiny town in Australia, nature shows you its most unique and beautiful parts. The tides, waterfalls, pearls, dinosaurs, sharks, crocodiles, stars, people, sunsets, outbacks, and camels. All of this exists in a tiny town of 50,000 people, making this town one of the most amazing places you'll ever see. Okay, this Naz bloke, um, I would, I would assume he overhypes things a little. Probably overhypes things a little. However, for a town of fifteen thousand people, and I don't even think it's about the people; it's about the nature and the environment around. Uh, some incredible sites that I don't think many people would know about. That's what it's almost about: highlighting places that a lot of people wouldn't have a. Wouldn't have a clue about, wouldn't ever go to. And to see, if you love the sea, then Broome seems to be the place to go. Because, wow, the, the, the way that the two lakes meet between the, between the two rocks, for starters, incredible. The way that the tide goes down and you just have mini waterfalls uh, over the coral reef. What an incredible place this clearly looks like. If you're from Broome, what are your thoughts on Broome? Uh, is Broom as magical as this guy says? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. If you're not from Broom, is it somewhere, somewhere where you really want to go to? I need your input, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.